The following program may contain mature subject matter and coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. Today I'm going to talk about the movie Alien and specifically I'm going to discuss and point out all the sexual imagery in this movie, the life cycle of the alien itself. The alien is basically born out of rape. It basically rapes its victims in order to reproduce. Also the design, the look of the alien itself was uh, basically sexual and this becomes obvious if you look at the actual original designs, the original paintings uh, by the artist uh, Giger who designed the alien. If you look at the original uh, paintings it's pretty obvious that the alien is basically its head is basically a phallic uh, imagery, it's like a penis basically and the second jaw which comes out of its mouth if you look at the original paintings it's obvious it was supposed to be uh, phallic uh, things going in and out of the mouth and the face hugger is basically a rapist <laughs> using oral sex to, to rape its victims and the eggs, the original design of the alien egg its opening was supposed to look like a <laughs> vagina but then they thought it's too much and so they changed it and uh, even the android ash when he starts to malfunction, he takes a porn magazine, rolls it up and tries to strangle Ripley with it by putting it in her mouth. And uh, then when uh, he starts to malfunction, he starts to squirt out white uh, fluid all over the place. And so I think those elements, that's what makes this movie more creepy than uh, other horror movies. There's one scene in which the alien attacks uh, one of the women on the ship and you see its tail moving between her legs going upward and then you hear a horrible scream so you don't even know what exactly happened but your brain kind of imagines when you see it in the movie it basically looks all slimy with white stuff on it so again just like the android's uh, blood is white when he squirts it all over the place and even before that in the movie when they actually go into that alien ship uh, I think that ship itself it basically it, it represents like a womb it basically it looks organic the walls of the ship inside they look organic so the ship is kind of like biomechanical it looks like uh, the inside of an organism and there are all those eggs on the ship and also in the middle of the ship in the biggest hole of the ship uh, there is uh, this creature which looks kind of like a fetus connected to the ship so this whole ship kind of represents the female uh, reproductive system which has the uh, eggs and in the middle it's basically a fetus so I think that's what made this movie so memorable and so creepy to many people. Again, I watched this as a kid and didn't even get <laughs> any of this. And only much later as an adult I actually realized, hey, this is all about, it's all sexual images. So that space jockey is like a fetus in the middle of a womb. And uh, also that huge gun or telescope, that also looks kind of phallic. Giger's sets were so erotic and I mean his big vaginas and penises and I mean it's like you know it's the whole thing is like you're going inside of some sort of womb or whatever I mean it's sort of visceral and all of those things and I think all those elements came into it and uh, basically the whole idea of the xenomorph is basically like a sex monster the, its head looks like a penis uh, for a reason and it has like a smaller mouth coming out of its mouth and then uh, you have these androids with sperm blood and uh, they also like to shove uh, rolled up magazines into people's mouths and uh, by the way that also reminds me of a scene in Prometheus kind of like with a magazine in Ripley's mouth so the alien also likes to put its tail between uh, people's legs and to do something which we never saw what and that's what makes that scene so scary I think because they didn't actually show what happened so it's left for our imagination but uh, judging by her screams that was something horrible and the last scene of the movie Alien uh, you see Ripley basically undressing and then she's again attacked by the same uh, dick monster so I think it's obvious uh, the sexual uh, symbolism basically the alien represents uh, sex uh, slash rape and uh, Ripley is like the uh, female victim uh, an erotic alien also so I made my um... Uh, lips and the chin with this part you can make a, a erotic lady you, you don't need more than that this part that's the design I did so I think it's pretty fascinating so let me know what you think in the comments below I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time bye bye